All right, hey everyone, WanderPod here, and welcome to Treasure Adventure World. Or if you're one of the hundred crazy people that followed my channel uh, back when I first covered this game, welcome back to Treasure Adventure World. I can't imagine any of you have actually seen that video. Anyway, uh, so uh, I guess a bit of a story before we begin, just in case anything comes out. This is actually one of those games that I covered back in the first couple months of my channel, uh, like literally four years ago. Uh, more than four years ago at this point, actually. Um, I know that's the wrong use of literally. I don't care that much. Anyway, um, but so it's it's been years since I played the demo that they put out for this game. And I think I spent eight hours editing the thing, you know, kind of trying to get all of my thoughts down onto video format and, like, clear, concise, and quick. And it was just universally panned. It was an awful video. <laughs> And I still watch it every once in a while. I'm like, ugh. So here we are playing the actual thing. Uh, years later. Hey, that's my real name. Let's not do that. Let's call that... Uh, Bups. It's like, I don't know. Who cares what my profile name is? I'm going to be Bups. The ancient legend inspired me to become an archaeologist. I made it my life school to locate the hero... Huyen's 12 artifacts and share them with the world. <laughs> Feels like only yesterday that my adventurous brother-in-law Gagwin and his his kid and I sailed across the world to find them. Oh, I just had a sandwich and for whatever reason, I uh, just caught in my throat. Anyway, I, I guess we're red-headed Indiana Jones's kid. I like this cutscene, actually. I like this game's art style. It's uh, It's very charming. Friendly mushroom people. I want to play this adventure game. Just like super charming, family friendly. Just a dad, his daughter, and some like old dude archaeologist character. And they're all just like having a nice time uh, going on adventures together. Where's the hat, of course. I believe this is also a follow-up to a previous Treasure Adventure game. I don't remember much about it, though. Anyway, five years later... The time has come to reclaim your past. A new adventure awaits you. Look for my emissary to guide you. But be warned, an ancient evil stirs. Is her body that small or is that just like kind of a bust version? Because I like to imagine she has like an incredibly small body underneath that plumage. still in bed, child. Today is your special day. You didn't forget, did you? Why don't you get up and meet me outside? Grandpa and I have a surprise for you. Chapter 1. Avian Apparitions. Do I really not have a right hand? Yeah, I guess I really don't have a right hand. Wow. Okay. Huh. Just looking at this, the art has changed a little bit since the last game. Though I don't know by how much. A lot of it's fairly familiar. 
Today is the anniversary of the day Grandpa and I found you washed up on the shore of our little island. It's hard to believe it's already been five years. Hmm. Oh, Grandpa Rondeau has a special present for you. He's waiting for you at your favorite camping spot on top of Cargill Bluff. Before you go, you should equip your other hand. Oh, did you lose it again? Hmm. Oh my, it must be around somewhere. Maybe you should ask the neighbors if you've seen it. First, let us check the outhouse. Oh boy, we get to go in there. Actually, I think I remember going in there as part of my, my review. This is weird. I don't like playing games that I've already played before. Uh, it's not normal uh, for me to like revisit games generally. Welcome to Car Cargale Island. What's this? What is that? You found control scroll. Information about the game's controls. Okay, I think I can figure most of that out. You can view the scrolls in your inventory menu. Yep, figured that out. Hey, kiddo. Oh no, I haven't seen your prosthetic anywhere. Have you asked the Joneses yet? Maybe you left it over there. Oh, and stop by later. I have a new invention I want to show you. Yeah, so we really are just a child. And they did, they changed the sprite, so the, uh, the hook hand is, is consistently, like, on one side or another. It's very hard with platformers to have a asymmetrical character. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, do with those. Anyway, good morning. I'm surprised to see you up so early. Oh, did you lose your, uh, prosthesis? No, I haven't seen it. Why don't you go inside and check with my husband? Yeah, I honestly do not know how much of this has changed. I'd have to go back and check the, uh... I'd, I'd really have to go back and check my previous video. Because, like, this feels similar, but maybe more? Like, they tried to make it more high def. Anyway, James's journal. My new super top secret hideout is complete. It's so secret that not, uh, that not even that creepy kid next door will be able to find it. Even Mom doesn't know where it is, and it's right next to her garden. Hmm. No, what? Oh, your hand. Go ask James. Yeah, I have your hand, alright? I hid it in my secret hideout. And don't bother looking for it. You'll never find it. Dick. You have a... A... Disfigured neighbor child and you take their prosthetic hand? I mean, obviously it's... You know... A hook, but st still, dick move. Anyway, now you can grab ledges and rings. You can also defend yourself from baddies. Press X for swing attack. Okay, so this is, uh, for those of you that haven't seen the video, which is pretty much everybody. Um, oh, do I just automatically grab stuff? Uh, for those of you that haven't seen my my first video on this, which is really everyone, uh, this game is kind of one part puzzle platformer, one part uh, Metroidvania. I'm not actually sure how much uh, how much it is of Metroidvania, but I know there, there's a lot of puzzle solving involved. Honestly, kind of stylistically it reminds me of It'll Do in a lot of ways. You know, uh, cute kind of young female protagonists. Uh, I think, I think the bird talks in this game, but, you know, kind of the snarky secondary character, so on and so forth. Anyway, have you seen Lucinda around anywhere? I think she was looking for you earlier. Ah, uh, she always seems to get in trouble when you're around. She needs to spend more time studying or she'll never get into Island College. Not that it's very hard to get into. I run it myself and pretty much no one else goes. Hey, we don't take falling damage, that's good. I think I'm going to be fighting the camera in this game, but I guess that's okay. On vacation, we're away island hopping on our brand new steamboat. Our ultimate destination is Donosol City. See you when we get back. Brooks and Barney. We're closed for renovations. Check back tomorrow. Hey, are you going to explore the cave? My mom says she'll, get, she'll ground me if I ever go there again. She th said there are dangerous creatures living in there. Sometimes I hear a scary growling sound coming from inside. But you don't have to worry. If something tries to attack you, you can just swing your hook at them. Yay! 
What is this? Save your progress. Oh, right. It's interesting playing games that, you know, I've played before. It's also really nice, uh... The, uh, developers more or less just sent this to me unbidden. I think I had actually requested a press copy of the final release. Uh, ow. Like, actually... Years ago? Like, more or less when the, um... Okay, eat food to regain health. Uh, I think... Oh, we've got a... We've got a breakable wall there, but I don't think I can do much about it. Okay, and I can't bring that food with me. I was hoping I could actually bring him along as a snack. Jesus! This cave is... unacceptable. Okay, there we go. I don't know... I assume Creepy Crawly is gonna come my direction in a second. Luckily, I can just kind of smack it back. Get on, get away from here. Yeah, com combat in this game, I hope, is not going to be a, a huge focus. Hollow Knight, this is not. But that's maybe okay. Hey, kid! I was starting to worry you weren't coming. It's a beautiful night, hmm? Good view of the stars from up here. Hmm. I fear this newfangled technology is making folks lose that sense of wonder. One gets looking at the sky. Sometimes I feel the urge to get away and live a simpler life. I already live on an island with, what, ten people on it, and that's still too much. Gotta be zero. I'll die on my own island and then haunt it. That'll be good. That's why I'm not always around much anymore, preparing to be a ghost. But you didn't come up here to hear this old man ramble. Today is your special day. I guess we'll never know when your real birthday is. Hmm. You still don't remember anything before from before the day we found you, hmm? It's okay. Someday it'll come to you. I'm sure of it. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, I have a gift for you. Grandma and I found this strange old map in the beach the same night we found you. I'm not sure if it's connected to your past, but it's certainly a well, unique item. I can't say I've ever seen real magic in my life, but this map, well, see for yourself. What did I say? Have you ever seen anything like that? Go ahead, open it up and take a look. Press start to open up the menu with your map. Gotcha. We got a map. Visit Grandpa on the bluff. Grandpa is waiting for you at the top of Cargill Bluff. Done. And I guess I have to go down to resume. Did you see how our island just, disappeared, just appeared? I would bet that it could chart any island in the world just by setting foot on it. It's an adventurer's dream come true. Hmm. Take it. It's yours. Someday you may decide to have an adventure of your own. Like today. Leave. I hope it'll help you find what all that you have lost. Now hurry up and get going. You know Grandma gets... Uh, how Grandma gets if you're not home by dark. This is the equivalent of sleeping on the couch. She exiles you up to the top of a mountain. Says good luck. Well, I'll be here a while. Goodbye. Farewell, sort of granddaughter creature. What's this? I don't know. There's like a, a weird, like, warpage going on there. Can I, can I swim? No, it doesn't look like it can swim. There's just spiders in this town. That's concerning. What about bees? Well, there are bees, but I can't... I can't just murder brawl bees. Oh, this is the wrong house. Got dark in a hurry. Then again, I guess plot reasons. Okay. Nothing on the outhouse. Ah, oh, I was wondering... I was just about to go looking for you. Did you see Grandpa? Good. Tell him to stay up there. Yeah, we best get some sleep. The early bird gets the worm. I was gonna go see the lady here. There you are. Hey, kiddo. I'm going to be testing out a new invention today. If it works, it'll revolutionize, revolutionize the way we travel from island to island. Maybe it'll let you test it for me. Check back with me later, okay? Dang it. I was going to try and leave in the dead of night when nobody would follow me. Well, up we go. 
Do I talk with the grandma or... Okay, same thing. Didn't we just go to bed? Like, we just woke up. We woke up, we went off to see Grandpa on the top of, uh, on the other side of a cave. And that was it. Where does she sleep? She probably scales the mountain too and sleeps up there, because there's no way she sleeps in a hammock at the top of a hammock structure. I mean, maybe she does. Maybe she's a spry old bird, but I doubt it. And then the kid comes in and steals her hook again. Huh. Is it really? Hey, kid, wake up. I got a life-changing opportunity for you. Come on, wake up already. Hey, I couldn't help but notice that map you got. You must be a true adventurer to have a relic like that. I've been looking for an adventure to help me find some rare and valuable treasures. But I'm getting ahead of myself. First introductions. I'm Wida. I'm a pa parrot, as you might have noticed. And you are? Hmm. You don't remember anything? Not even your name. Well, that won't do. Well, how about I call you Peep? Yeah, I think it fits you. Now that we're friends, Peep, I feel like I can tell you my secret. I'm a talking bird. Did you know that? Can you tell? I'm not just a parrot. I'm a talking parrot. I'm not just your standard one. No Polly want a cracker. I mean treasure. Gold. Polly want gold. I'm looking for 12 legendary treasures that are said to grant a wish to anyone that locates them all. It must be something you'd wish for, right? Even better, I just happen to know the exact location of the first treasure. But with that map of yours, I, or we, well, I could find all 12 of them, no problem. So what do you say, peep? Are you ready for treasure and adventure? No. What? So you'd rather waste your life on this boring little island? Give it another thought. Nope. What? How could you not want to spend your life exploring temples, fighting monsters, and finding treasures? Nope. Okay, now we're on the loop. That's the spirit. I can tell right away that you're an adventurer at heart. Now, first thing any decent adventure needs is a plan. Good thing I'm here. You don't seem to be the planning type. So, step one of our plan is secure a vessel. Do you know where we can get a decent boat around here? Let's go look around. The incredible shrinking boat. Well, is it still nighttime or is it magically? Nope, it's still nighttime. Oh, one more thing. If you're not sure what to do next, you can just ask me. Remember, I'm the expert here. Press back to ask Wida for help. I've finally done it. My prototype, the glue scap, is working, sorta. You invented a toy boat? I think you're a little late on that. This is not a toy, and it's much more than a boat. When I was working for Globocorp, I developed a new technology that allowed me to shrink objects to the size of a single pixel and back again. So though it looks like a simple boat, it's really quite advanced. You can carry it in your pocket when you're not using it. Neat, huh? That's perfect. Can we borrow it for a while? I'm afraid not. Unfortunately, I'm still missing one crucial component. The scale regulator is still unstable. It needs more power. A small Xtium crystal should do the trick, though. Xtium crystal? Aren't those hard to come by? Yes, and they can be very dangerous. Luckily, I know there's one on the island. I bet Brooks and Barney bar I let Brooks and Barney borrow one while they were building their steamboat, but I haven't seen them around lately. I guess we'll have to wait until they get back from their journey. It might take a while, but when I get that crystal, I'll let you take the glue scap out for a field test. Time for some breaking and entering. Bird style. Straight through the window. Stun, then you flop around a bunch. Then, at some point, you probably die because you broke your neck. It doesn't look like Brooks or Barney are home right now. Hmm. Well, let's not let that stop us. Maybe they left the XDM crystal inside. Wait here, I'm going in. I really like the soundtrack for this game. There's actually two. There, but there's actually the. Uh, I can't get to that one. There's actually two soundtracks. Apparently, they remixed this one. Oh, maybe the soundtrack is from the previous one. The current time is 3.28. Now. I have to do fruit puzzle solving. It's pretty elaborate for a couple of random people. Okay, and out we go. Oh, this is probably the, uh, the lower entrance. That we saw. Wee. 
I wonder if this actually has like a 24 hour clock. Because it does look like it's actually getting lighter. I That'd be an interesting thing. You don't see that in a whole lot of like Metroidvanias or puzzle platformer stuff, a 24 hour clock. Wow, you actually got it. Impressive. Okay, now just give me a second. There we go. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I really need someone to rigorously field test the glue scap. Can, can't guarantee it won't glitch out on you, but I don't foresee any major issues. Just, you know, a boat-human hybrid, but that's about it. Don't worry about us. We can handle this toy boat of yours. Okay, if you say so. Here, it's all yours. The glue scap is yours, for now. Go ahead, try her out. All you have to do is jump into the ocean. The glue scap will do the rest. Make sure you stop by my workshop on Samora Island if you have any problems. Oh, okay, peep. Ah, okay, peep. I hope you can swim. Whee! Ball. I can't believe this shrinking boat actually works. Now there's nothing stopping us from a life of adventure. Hmm. I spoke too soon. This pathetic sail is far too flimsy to get us through rough waters. And uh, where we're going, the waters will get rough. Hmm. Okay. First mate, peep. I got it. For step two of my, er, our plan. Get a better sail. I just happen to know of a particular pawn shop where we can buy one. Probably. Here. Take this nav pearl. It works with your map to show the location of the pawn shop. Okay. Coordinates to the location of a sail. Man, that was a quick storm. If you open your map and select the nav pearl, the map will show you the location contained within. Then all we have to do is orient ourselves and head in the right direction. Here, I'll show you. Okay, so it's on island smudge budge budge. Very useful. Chapter three, the branchy burrow. Wow, we are motoring through this game. Angel Rock Island. Well, might as well save. Kind of wish it would actually let me do iterative saves, but whatever. Actually, honestly, I just wish it would auto-save frequently. Oh, this is a new island. The island I remember from the uh, from the demo was like deserty and sucks. So hopefully we don't have to immediately go to that place. Hey kid, you live around here? You should be careful, this island is infested with animals. It was probably my imagination, but I swear I saw a spider dragging a sail up that giant tree. MacGuffins. Are you alive? This place is perfect. They were mistaken to stay. Here's where I live. Right oh. It's creepy as hell. Mouse house. Are you alive? Eh. We don't see many humans around here. Don't worry, I can vouch for the human. And maybe you can help us? Basil's been bedridden for days. I'm not sure she's gonna recover. If there's any way you can get us medicine, we'd be eternally grateful. Dr. Cece might have something. Her office is higher up the tree. Ah, we'll see what we can do. We're really just here to visit the pawn shop. I see, well, I guess they're right about humans after all. Side quest, sick mouse in the house. Uh, please leave me be. I don't want anyone to see me like this. I mean, you have toxic waste just leaking into your place. This place sucks. If you're not here to help us stop this poisonous sludge from ruining our home, then please see yourself out. Well, this is weird. <laughs> Uh, how do we get up? Yep, bap, bap, bap. How do I get up? Maybe I ah. This is how I get up. Nope, can't kill the ant. There are a lot of angry creatures living in this tree. The spiders are worst of all. Don't get me wrong, I'm no speciesist. Not all spiders are bad. Some of my best friends are spiders. Did do, do you know there's a way to tell the nice ones from the mean ones? If their eyes are red. You know they're dangerous. Okay, so that's just a random bug. What's with all the weird toxic goo? I don't know. 
<laughs> Tough spider. Christ. How long do I have to hit this thing in the face? Oh, he might be invulnerable, actually. Oh, hey, uh, I just found this here, I swear. Is it yours? Uh, yeah, just go ahead and take it. Sweet money. So I can't... My hook's not uh, dangerous enough to kill the red spiders yet, I guess. Not that that's really a big deal. Not really a whole lot of reason for me to kill this guy, I guess. I'm gonna do it anyway for the money. I do it for the money. I do it for the fame. I do it for nothing. Because that's what the game gives me. Actually, I mean, it gave me plenty. Okay, let's grab an apple. Nope. I actually want to eat the apple. I'm kind of injured. Kind of mildly. Okay, so probably not very metroidvania -y. Just kind of like slight aspects of that, you know, with the uh, constant character upgrades. Hold A to bounce high. The ancestors know all. But what is A? Hey, look at this platform. See that symbol? That means there's finally something I can do that you can't. Stand on this platform and press B to take a break for a while. If you want to call me back, just press back. Bird business. Uh, can I, can I attack? Oh, I see. Well, I kind of sort of didn't really mess up. I didn't mean to break it. It just kind of broke. What is this? I don't know. Rock, probably for the other... Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know what the rock is for. Probably if you want the apple. But I don't care about the apple. Dang it. I'm not very good at actually hooking onto things. I watch a tree die. The animals cannot hide. Dance with us a while. It's honestly uncomfortable. Bunch of money. So it looks like, uh... Can I get back up? Yeah, I can. I'm like, I could go down, but I'm not sure what it's going to get me. Angel Oak Shopping District. Well, what if we go up? What is this? Angel Oak Hospital. Okay, so let's check the hospital first. Dr. CC is doing her best to make me better, but I don't think anything can save me now. It's not fair. Why do I have to die? Missing Charles Chuck. Have you seen me? A lot of missing people. This is it, kid. I've reached the end of my days. I only wish I'd traveled more, seen the world. Don't make my mistake, kid. I've been seeing a lot of patients lately, and they all seem to have the same symptoms. I'm afraid without proper treatment, it could be fatal. Unfortunately, I don't know any medicine that would help. Our only hope is for Dr. Budo to develop an antidote. He's performing tests somewhere nearby. If you see him, find out if he has any luck. It was an interesting game. I don't think I can get up to the other one. So chances are there's something at the top of the tree poisoning everybody. Fixing that will solve all problems. I just gotta get there. Can I? Oh, I guess I can swim. Oh, no. I can't swim. I just pull out the boat. Wow. I was not exactly expecting instead of swimming, I just pull out the boat inside a place. But hey, what do I know? 
tree branch responds to the burden of duty. Make like a tree and wiggle. Vinny's Pawn Shop. This place. Might as well save, seeing as we're up here. If we fall down, it would suck. We're actually at a pretty good stopping point. Let's let's talk to the spider, and then probably call it quits. Welcome to Vinny's. What can I do for you? Hey, Vinny. What? You again? Listen, bird, I don't run a charity, so unless you got some coin, leave. That's Captain Bird to you. And it just so happens this kid here and I are doing pretty well, financially speaking. We're here to buy. Oh, in that case, what can I get for you today? We're looking for a sail for a sloop-style boat. What would you know? I have think I have just the thing. I found this washed up ashore a couple days ago. I could let it go for, say, 100 coins. What, what do you say? Nope. Yes, you lied to me. Don't come back until you're serious about buying. 100 coins is outrageous. But don't worry, we'll be back with money. I mean, we're pretty dang close. I want to go check out the hat shop first. So, I like this game. Um... Can I check the mailbox? If any oh, right. We already checked that. Louis Hat Store. Can I buy me a hat? Because I'm curious about buying me a hat. Would you like to buy a hat? I specialize in this one hat you see here. It's the only one I have, so if it's not your style, too bad. Jeez. I'm sorry. I'm afraid this store might be a little bit too expensive for you. I might go farm some coins between episodes. Might not be a bad idea. <laughs> Just get the top hat early. I like the idea of it. Let's let's do it. I mean, it's not very hard. We just have to go kill some spiders. Okay, so I like this game. Um, I don't think I can't imagine it's going to be particularly long. It it definitely feels a little bit lighter on the uh, Metroidvania than a lot of other games lately. That's probably the doctor. Up there. Nope, can't do anything with that. I have to do something with this flower. I don't know. Maybe I have to get the sail first. But I'm probably going to just have to go womp on spiders. I'm just going to beat them down here, I guess. It's like the only place I'm going to be able to get uh, get money from. I should probably time it instead of just spam casting it. I forgot this guy. Uh, don't care. Okay, yeah. I'm going to get killed by Red Spider. Which I probably should be a little bit more careful about. Okay, so I like this game. Um, I don't know. It's pretty basic puzzle platformer. Style is kind of all over the place, maybe? I don't know, it's, maybe it's just because I haven't played a whole lot of puzzle platformers lately. How much money do I have now? Oh, you can even see a stat screen. I'm in 98 coins, thanks. Yeah, so we'll, we'll go do a little bit of money grinding, but I don't know, if you're looking for a good, good-ish puzzle platformer game, this kind of thing would actually be pretty fun. I don't know. I'm gonna play more and then I'll have more of an opinion. Right now, I'm gonna play more for for now. I just, I love the art style that they went with. And it's charming enough. And also, I don't know, I just like, I just like playing games uh, published by Chucklefish. They're a cool publisher and they're very nice to me. Like, seriously, actually, the, the people at Chucklefish have been some of the consistently nicest uh, out of all pub publishers, even though the games have been kind of, you know, here and there. Uh, this one just feels nice. I feel like, oh. Nope, can't do anything about that. Alright, well, whatever. Anyway, so I guess this is a good stopping point, uh, as I was kind of trying to go for. So, I will see you guys in the next episode of Treasure Adventure World. And as always, thanks for watching.